We recently took a trip up to the Lake District with the dogs and in today's video I thought I would show you what we got up to while we were away. As with most trips, our first day was all about settling in, getting our bearings and just exploring the local area. This tarn was about a 10 minute walk from where we were staying and the dogs obviously enjoyed themselves. Um, there were a few sheep fields so we had to keep them on lead just to be safe but they had a great time and it was a really convenient place to walk the dogs first thing in the morning. Next we headed up to Keswick which was about a 7 to 10 minute drive from where we were staying. We were staying at Burns Farm in case you're wondering I'll show you where we were staying and what it looked like later on in the video. We couldn't go to Keswick and not check out the local pet shop Podgy Paws. Henry, our ginger working cocker, absolutely loves pet shops. He goes crazy for them, so we had to take him in and have a look around. These Razzle Dazzle harnesses I've had my eye on for so long. Unfortunately, they didn't have the black one in woody size, otherwise they would have bought them there and then. They're by Herter and they're a discontinued design now, so I really want to try and get my hands on them before it's too late. Something really exciting though, and a pleasant surprise we weren't expecting, was seeing both Woody and Henry on two of the Henry Wag products stocked at Podgy Paws. They didn't have rabbit ears with hair, which we needed. I got them at a later date, um, but the dogs enjoyed a little pit stop at the dog bar before we headed out to brunch. And it was such a lovely morning, so we decided to sit outside also because three dogs in a small cafe is never a good um, idea really from it, our experience anyway um, but yeah we just enjoyed taking in the sun and all the views and seeing all the other dogs walk by while we were waiting for our food as perfectly demonstrated by Woody in this clip honestly the food here was amazing this is the croque monsieur or croque madame that I ordered and it was delicious the ham was so good then we headed back to our accommodation. We were staying in this gorgeous cabin at Burns Farm, which is a campsite, caravan, um, camper van, glamping. It does all sorts. It's really nice. What I loved about here, though, is it is completely secure and also the garden area is low maintenance and has no grass. So the dogs quite regularly sat outside chewing on their chews after, after we'd been out for the day and it meant we could enjoy being in the hot tub without worrying about whether they were digging something up or being naughty or anything like that. And yeah, so this is how we spent the remainder of our first day, just at the cabin, enjoying the hot tub, making the most of the dry weather um, because we were planning to hike up Scarfell Pike the following day so we didn't want to overexert ourselves on the first day. We were actually quite lucky with the weather this time. It was mostly overcast for the week that we were there. There was some rain towards the end, but we thought we would make the most of the clear forecast and head up to Scarfell Pike on day two of our trip. Callie, you enjoying your first mountain? <laughs> she got squiffy though. This is your third mountain. Hen's a veteran. And Woody's third mountain. Yeah, you two've done Snowden and Helvellyn. And High Wheel Hayes. Oh yeah, and High Wheel Hayes and Brown Willie a couple times. You've done High Wheel Hayes and Brown Willie. <laughs>
walking the Seathwaite route up to Scarfell Pike, which is a longer distance walk but with more scenic views, which was stunning, I must say. However, we didn't make it all the way up to Scarfell in the end. A combination of poor visibility, I also wasn't very good at pacing myself on this walk, so I got quite exhausted towards the end. But this is the tallest point we reached on our walk, which is about 50 metres distance, not height-wise, away from the top of Scarfell. We definitely made the right call at the right time, especially as we had the dogs as well, but that doesn't mean we weren't a little bit disheartened that we hadn't made it to the top of Scarfell. However, the most important thing is, obviously, we managed to get down safely and everyone was fine. I'm so glad we booked somewhere with a hot tub because honestly it's exactly what I need after a day of walking that was by far my hardest walk ever like I got so exhausted on the way down I didn't know the route myself so I didn't like plan my breaks and pace myself properly although I'm so glad we went this time of year not in the height of summer because that would have been unbearable there was really not a lot of shade on the route we did we are going to be taking it slow and easy for the rest of our trip um, we've also found that Hen's got some blisters on both his paws on his like completely blind side so walking isn't really an option for us. We did also bring our paddle boards but I think we've missed the window for paddle boarding because the wind's picking up now uh, which is a shame. <laughs> Did I sing it wrong? day on the weather didn't improve so we spent the rest of our trip bunkering down in the cabin and just enjoying indoor time basically. Um, I thought I'd mention about the cabins they are adult only they are dog friendly well some of them are dog friendly we found them through Airbnb I'll leave the link in the description with this video just in case you're curious uh, but we did message them specifically and double check they were happy for us to have the three dogs um, which they were because our dogs are crate trained so whenever we were in the cabin the dogs would be in the crates because obviously the owners don't want dogs on the furniture which is perfectly fine but yeah just thought I'd mention that um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed our little trip to the lakes and we will see you again soon <laughs>